Hello and welcome to another Roller Coaster Tycoon playthrough video. Today we're doing the next of the expert parks, which is Ivory Towers, a well-established park which has a few problems. The objective is to have a thousand guests by the end of year three. Problems indeed. Look at this. This is disgusting. Okay, let's uh, let me turn uh, turn vegetation off so I can see what the path looks like. Okay. This is a disaster. Look at this place. <laughs> I think first order of business, let's demolish this monorail, which is not doing us any good. Let's see. Do we have any staff? We have no staff, so we need some handymen. And right off the bat, they're already sweeping the footpath. What a disgusting mess. <laughs> and lots of vandalism, too. We'll have to comb through everything and delete those, too. Let's get rid of this, although if I do that, all of our peeps will drown. So let me get rid of this first. And make it flat so that doesn't happen. Now we can safely delete it and they'll all be trapped there. Delete! Oh, for goodness sake, they were kicked out of the entrance. And we lost one. Gosh dang it. I thought they would go out the exit. Okay, well, I saved one of them. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> uh, what else can we fix? Let's see, these roller coasters are a little big, taking up quite a large footprint. Let's see, this is a hurricane. What does hurricane look like? Nice stats, honestly. Holy smoke. We could charge a ton of money for this if we wanted to. Uh, but no, I think I want to charge for the entrance because that seems to have uh, done better than charging per ride the past few scenarios. But it's raining now. Let's see. Oh, perfect. We have the info kiosk. They can't find the bathrooms. That's not surprising. Lots of problems in this park. Guests are complaining about the amount of trash in the park. That's about right. Lots, everyone's leaving, look at that. Okay. So, we may have to just do some damage control from the, from the start here and clean up this disaster before we really start adding anything. But at least I have to add a merry-go-round. If we're gonna have a horribly uh, degenerate park, at least we can have some pretty music to offset the horror of it. <laughs> Build it slightly off the ground like that. Okay. And open. Now at least we have happy music for all this disastrous, uh, look at that. We have a little green arrow there. Everyone's leaving. Everyone needs to pee. <laughs> oh, perfect, a duck to quack. Okay, let's see. I do have bathrooms, so let's place one here. Charge money for it, because I'm like that. <laughs> Fry shop. Let's see, where can I put this? Let's place it here. Bump this up to $2. Place a drink stall next to it. Bump that up to $160. Same price as that park in case we build any more. Okay. Now let's link these paths up. Let's bring this down like so. There we go. And now this ride, it's a nice ride, but it's, it's enormous. It takes up a lot of geographical space that I don't think it needs to take. I guess I could build around it. We'll leave it alone for now. But I am going to take this path. Well, look at this dead end. That's not doing us any good. That's just going to cause these guests with horrible pathfinding algorithms to get lost. So let's build under here. Oh, we could probably tuck a little info kiosk there. There we go. And get rid of these. This little roundabout is just going to make people get lost. So get rid of that. Yeah, this park is a disaster. <laughs> what a mess. Now look at all this vandalism. Is there a tool that lets me exclusively delete vandalism? Doesn't look like it. What about the scenery? Nope. Well, that's a shame. Instead of trying to replace everything, it might be easier to just delete the paths and then rebuild them. I don't know. Let's fix what we can while we're here. 
Perhaps it would be fastest to fix one type of item at a time, because if I try to work focus on an area, then I have to switch back and forth between the different types of scenery over and over. But hey, on the bright side, we get to place these lights down, and I've never really dealt with lights before. Very pretty bits of scenery. They really don't serve a purpose, but it's, uh, it's all well and good. I'm going to turn the trees off again. I don't know if you can do that in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. If you can't, then consider this, uh, cons I have it easy, in a way. Okay, that's blocked off, that's good. I think we fixed all the lamps. Oh, no, I didn't, I missed a few. Unless we have vandals! Yeah, there's a vandal. Uh, let's see, actions. Hello. Oh, I picked him up for nothing, he was right at the exit. <laughs> okay. Any other vandals? Walking... There's this one. Where, where, where are you? What are you doing? The vandalism here is really bad, you think? I think he just did that, actually. <laughs> Let's see if he breaks this one. No, he didn't touch it. Okay. Well, maybe we'll just follow him, and he will be the one who guides us through the paths and lets us fix everything. Let's just fix this bench. <laughs> and we'll watch to see if he breaks anything. We can do some garbage. Oh, I missed. Gosh dang it. I was supposed to go there. And, uh, someone broke that. Unless it was already broken. Yeah, he's not breaking anything as far as I can tell. Although it seems like some things I have fixed already are broken. Maybe there's another vandal somewhere. Look at this guy. This poor guy hanging his head. Because he can't sit down everywhere. They're all broken. Okay, he might break one of these. Let's see. Oh, never mind. He calmed down. I'm just following him for nothing. Okay, do we have any other uh, vandals? Oh, good, we don't. Uh, it looks like the vandalism problem has been fixed. I just have to, uh, I just have to uh, fix all of the benches and garbage cans and such. Okay. So I guess for Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, the scenarios get more difficult in that they become more and more tedious, like fixing all these problems. Well, they they are harder in other ways than that, but one of the ways is they get it's so messy. Oh, my lamps! Come back, lamps. What else can I fix? Fix that. Fix that. Is there any stuff underground? Well, now there is. Let's turn that back off. Oh, what a mess. But it's coming together. We have almost everything fixed now. And there is an apparent lack of garbage cans in this park. Which is nice that I don't have to fix any garbage cans, but I should definitely place some new garbage cans to fix the litter problem that our handyman have so effectively cleaned up. Speaking of which, I should probably f uh, get rid of some of them because they're, they've are they served their purpose. Now I just need a handful to maintain the park. Uh, vegetation turn off. I'm not done with you. Let's grab the benches. Could have sworn I fixed this area already. Maybe I missed that. Okay, that's probably sufficient. Let's place some garbage cans everywhere. I missed another one. Get fixed. Okay. Yeah, this park was disastrously messy. My goodness. And let's cut this off. This pathway serves no, no function to us. So I guess I'll just clear this all up. Oh no, my trees! And more lamps that I missed. I feel like there's more benches and lamps than would normally be in a vanilla park. Oh, we have a log flume, cool! Probably because when the scenario was designed, they wanted the, uh, the vandalism to be so bad that they built tons of extra bits of, uh, of, uh, pathway scenery. What do you call this? Uh, signs and items for footpaths. Is that what it's called in the vanilla game? Huh. Uh, anyway, I think it's time we build more rides. So let's build a twist somewhere. 
if I can find a good spot. Oh, look, there's a whole flat area up here. Okay, let's make a little flat ride segment up here. So perhaps grab this path, come out and build over the edge of the hill so we maximize the use of our space. And maybe I should leave this intact, so let me uh, come around to the side here. Ba, 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 da, da. Okay. And I could connect it over here, but eh, it's fine. It's fine. All right, so let's open this. Turn the price off, because as I said, we're going to charge at the gate. We'll leave this one at $3, because it's big enough and has stats that are bonkers enough to justify the price. Uh, guests can't find the entrance. Of course they can't. I need to build an entrance. Let's do that. There we go. Let's, uh, clear this. Okay. This roller coaster is at $3. Let's turn it down to 2 Very good. merry go round is free. Okay, so we have two roller coasters and two flat rides. So I think we can safely charge about $20. And we'll have to come back to this as soon as we build more rides. We also have room for a haunted house. So let's plop that down right there. Test it out. Build our exit path. Okay, that should do. We'll make this free as it's supposed to be. Let's take this uh this roller coaster and speed up the lift hill. I should probably do that to the other one too. Let's turn this lift hill speed up. Very good. Oh, wait for full load? No! No, no, no. Leave those on. Wait for full load, turn that off. Okay, perfect. And maximum wait time, turn that off too. Does this one have a maximum? Oh, good. Uh, yeah. No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay, lots of problems. Lots of problems I overlooked. Let's build a maze, and someone commented that I should give more... Uh, please, excuse me while I quack this duck. Someone commented that I should give more TLC to the construction of mazes, and I think you're right. So let's, uh, first, we'll place down some scenery that we will build around in this maze. Like that. And then we'll build the maze around that, and maybe have some bushes or trees in the maze. Okay, and the entrance will go here. The exit, we're not doing the exit yet. Let's see, where am I? Aha! Let's move over here. What's in the way? Uh... Oops! There we go! Now it's blocked off. I have this little barrier there. That's what I wanted. Okay. I can't see what I'm doing. Now the exit will go here. And this is separated so it can't connect with the entrance. We have to connect around. So I don't want to make the maze too hard, because if it was too hard, the guests would be forever trapped inside. As, uh... As has been demonstrated before by Marcel Voss that the guest's pathfinding algorithm is terrible and they will get stuck forever and never find their way out. I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, see through scenery. Okay. Let's delete this tree. All right. Now we'll build around like this. 
little dead end there. Dead end there. This may, may, may actually be too hard <laughs> already since I've made it as so many dead ends. And then I'll put like a tree or something there. There we go. So that's the way to get through. Now we will build some scenery like a oak tree right there. Cool. Now uh, let's allow a maximum of 64 people into this maze. Hurricane still hasn't been fixed. Uh-oh, I forgot to hire these guys. Okay, let's get our pathway set up. Have an exit and an entrance. Wonderful. And we will uh, fire this up, make sure it's free so people actually ride it. Well, they don't ride it, actually get on. And let's put a fence around that tree so it looks like it's a cohesive part of the maze, like uh, hedges, like that. And uh, let's surround, let's border this with these. This is kind of cool. Uh, these don't fit over here. Darn it. Oh, that's cool. It's like those little bushes under that tree. Okay. And now what should I do? Maybe some trees in front of the maze. Oh, look at that rendering error. <laughs> oh, it's there too. Oh, shoot. Maybe. Oh, that fixes it. Okay, cool. So we spent a little more time than I would have liked in the maze, but I'm proud of it. Look at it. And it's like uh, moves around this bit of scenery, which is kind of fun. What are we researching? A Ferris wheel? We have normal funding, so let me turn that all the way to the maximum to speed things along. We have, uh, we've built all the flat rides that are regular flat rides. We could build go-karts somewhere. Question is where, though? Uh, doesn't matter. Let's connect this up from this end. Just like this. There we go. So now people won't get stuck up here. And we'll delete this so people don't get stuck over here. Until we have more flat rides to expand to that spot. Wonderful. And look at that, lots of people coming to the park. So I think we can uh, safely say we have fixed the park. Now it's all uphill, or no, no, what am I saying? Downhill from here. Well, it's smooth sailing from here. Now we just have to populate it with some awesome rides and we will be good. And this woody foresty park is in desperate need, I think, of a wooden roller coaster. So let's repurpose this, uh, this setup over here with this. Let's see, is that two trains? Yep, that's two trains, wonderful. Let's go up like this. And while I'm thinking about it, entrance and exit. Uh, hmm. Just cheat and delete these. There we go. But I feel like the, uh, the entrance should be easier to reach. Well, it's going to be... Well, this is a paper entrance park, so I guess it doesn't matter much. Let's go up like this to 80 feet. Oh, yay, we have the Ferris wheel. Can I do this? I cannot. I didn't think so. Okay. Perhaps if I make this wider. And that's the edge of the park. Okay. So I can't do that. But I can do this. Or not. The entrance is there. <laughs> Never mind. Let's delete all those. So we went from 80 to 70. I seriously doubt we're going to pull this off, but let's try it. I want to try it. Woohoo! Here it goes. And just barely crests the hill. I'm not comfortable with that. Let's make this a little tighter to 60 feet. Well, 
We'll have a double drop right here down to the water to scare the ducks. It's a shame that we don't have access to helixes on these majestic wooden roller coasters in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. That wasn't added until Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, I'll have you know. Now I wonder if that's going to be too many G-forces. I hope not. <laughs> look how look how strange this layout is. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun! Okay. And with that. We should now straighten out right here, put some brakes on. 213, all the way to the station. Now I'm a little concerned about these pieces, which might be a little too tight at the speed that we're going, but we'll never know until I test it. So let's fire this up. All right, nice colors. Maybe not for the trains, but for the, the wood structure. But I am gonna change it to something nicer. Pea soup. I like pea soup. And the trains can be yellow. Or different colors per train. Different colors per train. Train one is yellow, train two will be blue. Nice. And we'll go log cabin for Run Jungle? No, log cabin. I misclicked, that's why that happened. Okay, train one, we're following you. Woohoo! Let's watch these lateral G's. I'm a little worried about this spot. Oh! That almost got up to three. But I think we might be okay. I think we may be okay. Let's find out. Because this is so bound up in everything else that if this doesn't work, we're <laughs> going to have to redesign. Oh, crap. That's not going to work. Okay. So instead of this, we have to uh, seriously rethink this whole design. Uh, huh. Yeah, that's the only way that's going to fit. We could go up to 50 again. To 55, even. Turn around. Oh, this almost worked perfectly. This almost worked perfectly. Why couldn't this work perfectly? Oh, <laughs> so sad. Can this dive under? It cannot. What a shame. Although, if I go steep here first, well, no, I can't do that. That'll be too, too much. Straight piece there first. Ah, oh, dang it. Yep, not going to work. It's not going to work. Unless. How fudge. Hmm. Yeah, I'm stumped. I don't know how to make this work. The it worked before because it uh, turning it doesn't bump into these wider helix pieces. This roller coaster looks so cool and it's not gonna work. <laughs> no. Okay. We'll just rethink everything. Now we're lined up. And we're out of money. Okay, let's take out a loan. How much of a loan can we take? Oh, not bad. 20,000. So we could. We can take 10,000 more, it seems. Can I put a water splash here? Oh, we almost have room. That would be so cool if I could put a water splash here. Although I don't think we'll be able to because of the... Uh... Well, I can't do that, obviously. <laughs> Does this line up? This lines up. 
Now I can put a water splash on. Let's go! And I forgot my photo section. <laughs> I think, I think this was a stroke of fortune that it didn't work out the first time. Because now I can do something that I couldn't do before. We have a water splash and everything. Okay, let's follow train one and see how this goes. This is going to be great. Oh, and we have a spiral slide. So more flat rides. The Ferris, the Ferris wheel and the spiral slide we can go add to our flat sections. Like this little plateau here could do with a flat ride, I think. Okay. And this graph tends to go higher if the game projects a higher max lateral g-force or vertical g-force. So I'm a little worried that it's all the way up to 6, because that means we're going to get pretty high somewhere on this ride. Woohoo! Up it goes. And that's a serious problem. Critical design flaw. I thought we'd be able to do it. What the heck? Because we were at 60, this is at 55. Ah, well, okay. And here I thought I was a genius. In that case... We'll do this then. And I missed. <laughs> I totally missed. And this doesn't have to be flat let, or curved. Let's just do this. And I missed again, I think. Yeah, I missed. Okay, so go straight first, then turn. Oh, it's a thing of beauty. It's a thing of beauty. So it's going to kind of mosey slowly through this section right here. But it's like a high circular uh, tour of the park. I don't know what you'd call that. Uh... A roundabout? Oh, it doesn't look the same from this angle. Ah, uh, but whatever. That should fix it, I think. So let's follow train one on its on its uh, course. Yeehaw! Up to the top of that hill. Double drop. Through our wide makeshift helix. There we go. I'll just pokes along gently at a nice slow speed. Now the question is, is it going to make it over this hill after that water splash slows it down? Oh, look at that. And the water splash slowed it down enough that these tight, uh, tight corners don't inflict too many G's on it either. Okay, I want my results. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave it at $2.00. So we charge at the entrance of the park and for the roller coaster. And look at this layout. Isn't that a pretty roller coaster? Okay. Let's bump this up to 35. And I need to check how much these people come to the park with. 75 in his pockets. 95 in his pockets. What about this guy? 75. 95. What about the other guy? Uh, 85. So the lowest number we can charge may be 75. That's actually really high, especially by Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 standards. Oh, no, we got a 65er. Somebody with 65 in his pockets. So that might be the most we can charge at the gate is $65 so we don't turn people away. How about you? 65 as well. I'm looking out for someone with 60 or 50 or 55 because if we can find someone like that, that means we can't charge as much. Okay, so it looks like 65 is the minimum price that we are able to charge. Not the minimum, the maximum price we can charge. The minimum they carry in their pockets, maximum we can charge. So let's place this right here. Um, hmm. I really need to rethink these paths. If I delete these paths, now I have all of this space to work. So let's place the, uh, the Ferris wheel right here. Yeah, I think this will work. Okay. Now the exit path. Go up right here. Well, first of all, go up here, actually. Okay. Perfect. 
make this free. And now in this leftover space, we can build some of these. Open this one, make it free as well. And another one next to it. That's the wrong color. Let's try to re-roll the color. It's the same thing. <laughs> if it's the same thing twice, okay. At least it's something different, but... Oh, no. No, not in the air. What the heck? And it looks like this is, isn't going to work the way I thought it was. Okay. Uh, we'll make this work somehow. Drop this down. Oops. There we go. That kind of works. Perfect. All right. So let's open this now. Did I set the price? Okay, good. Well, this is coming together beautifully. We inherited two roller coasters with the park, which are well enough built that I don't know if I really need to break them. If I run out of room later, I might break them down so I can build more compact roller coasters because these, these do take up a lot of space for what they are. But for now, I think we're going to roll with it. This corner could also use some roller coasters, so let's see what the options are. Oh, I just remembered, we have one of these. A log flume. So let's build this log flume here. Right through these trees. Let's drop down like this. Okay, and I'm running out of room up here. And that's too low, I can't do that. Okay. Let's put a photo section at the bottom of this drop. Come back around. Actually, S-bend it. S-bend left. Back up to 40 feet, drop down, turn around, and drop again. Woohoo! I can't see what I'm doing. Let's turn vegetation off. We need, yep, we need to do this. Okay, and the hill's in the way. Hill is still in the way. Let's actually go underground, just to make things interesting. Okay. Pop, pop. Here we go. Now we can scoot through there. And I think we need to S-band again. Come down like so. All right, perfect. And now to make everything different, let's reverse it. So it alternates between forwards and backwards per per circuit. Oh, and I forgot my entrance and my exit. I always do that. There we go. Make sure we have the maximum number of votes. 26. Wonderful. Let's turn this down to five seconds and test. And while it tests, we'll build our entrance and our exits. Uh-oh. Well, that's not going to work. Do we have to do this? Or not. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> or I could just do that. Okay, that's kind of cool. We'll put some flower beds here in place of what we just deleted. Yeah, I like that. Maybe some pink ones over here so we don't mess up our supports. Let's just make all of it pink. Keep it consistent. That's pretty. I like that. Okay. Now I think we could add... Where where was that little uh, indent? Yeah, right here we can add a info kiosk so we can sell more umbrellas. Let's make these a different color. Make them blue. 
and the rain stopped. But while I'm thinking about it, let's place another one over on the other side of the park. Perhaps right here. And make these ones green. Perfect. No one is riding the Ferris wheel, are they? Oh, there's two people on it. Okay. This area is just not very popular for some reason. And there's probably a reason for that. Let's uh, connect it up. Let's do this. Build this path out this way. That's the edge of the park. Okay. Um, come down one. I wasn't supposed to do that. Keep it level. <laughs> there we go. Now there's another way to get in. All right, is this done testing? Not, no, not quite. And it looks like five seconds may have been too short of an interval, although I'm afraid if I make it six seconds, it'll be too long. So we'll just leave it like this, five seconds. Let's get this boat back into the station. Flips around, perfect. Okay, nice. Let's make this free. Or maybe 50 cents, because it's a larger ride. And we'll make our photos across the park, uh, 350. Any takers, or is that too expensive after paying for the entrance? Our park rating has gone up a lot. We have 461 guests. Okay, so someone's willing to do 50 cents. That's not asking too much. I think we can turn this up again to 40. And let's advertise the park now. And Hurricane seems like a pretty sweet roller coaster to advertise. Oh, these turns aren't even banked. <laughs> what are we researching now? Ooh, a pirate ship. Perfect. Okay. So we have all of the flat rides except for this one. Well, not the flat rides. All the gentle rides except for this one. Let's build a go-kart somewhere. Somewhere we have room for it. Okay. Over here might be a good spot. Go-karts were the other one. I can't remember who it was that made the comment that uh, I could pay, uh, give more more TLC to the go-karts and the uh, mazes. Let's try to keep this near, uh, at least close to the terrain. Let's level this out and turn. I can't see a thing. Here we go. So it's an oval, it's not very interesting as far as the layout goes, but I could uh, add scenery to make it interesting. Although it is surrounded by trees already. There we go, there's the pirate ship. Okay, let's make this uh, 50 cents. Fire it up. Will anyone pay 50 cents for this? Uh oh, I think I forgot to change the price on my maps. 120 for maps. Okay, 50 cents seems to be fair for the go-karts. People are willing to pay for it. Now let's look at our scenery options. Okay. Classical Roman theming. Well, we could, uh... Do that. Oops. Let's change the theme of the entrance to classical. There we go. And what else can we do with these? We can put statues next to it. Takes up a whole tile, so we'll break that tree. Get a, what is that, a legionary? I forgot the exit. Of course I forgot the exit. Boop, there we go, fixed it. Actually, I placed that in a bad spot. Let's move the exit over one. Now open it. And now the statue is symmetrical with the statue relative to where the station is. Perfect. Keep that in theme. Whoops. Now isn't that cool? That it, that one pixel being off is slightly annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Let's do the same with the entrance here. Let's turn it. Yep, 
Isn't that fun? Or what we could do is leave those in that orientation and uh, build these up even more. Here we go. Build this on top like that. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that looks neat. That's very cool. Unfortunately, we don't have any flat spaces to place a Colosseum, but uh, that's fine. We don't need it. We don't need it. And if we had mechanical theming, I could try to put tires around it, but then it's also built up in the air. Speaking of which, I need to change the color of these uh, supports. Something more woody. Should I go red or... Yeah, that's better. A more muted maroon color. Okay. Let's call this War Chariots. Nice. Our advertising campaign just wrapped up, so let's restart it. Let's turn it up to the maximum of 12 weeks and advertise the wooden roller coaster this time for the maximum of 12 weeks. Cool. And we'll try to turn our loan down with the rest. Perfect. And there we go. Now, I think we should name this. Let's make this park like a Roman themed park just for fun just because we have access to that scenery. We'll make this, uh, let's see. If I use uh, Roman god names, I have to remember which ones are, which, what's the Greek version, and which one's the Roman version. So perhaps we could name this, um, let's see. Something Roman, something Romanesque. Something Latin. Uh... Mars, uh, Battalion. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> How about Mars? We'll just name it Mars for now. The God of War. Not a planet, the God of War. And should I repaint this? Bloodstained rails. That's kind of cool. But so is that. Okay, we'll call this, uh, uh, I don't even know. I don't know about enough about Roman theming. I need to read the Rick Riordan books again. <laughs> That's probably not the best place to learn about Roman mythology, though. I just had an idea for a revision. If I break these, rest in peace, and do this, eh, that's not gonna work, okay. Uh, Maybe this instead. Oh, it was a good idea, but it's not going to work, so never mind. Just put these back the way they were. Let's open up again. Well, first of all, test. Get that out of the station. Now open it. Okay, we have a lot of vomit over here for some reason. Although I don't have any benches over here, which is probably part of the reason. Let's place some benches there and grab one of these guys and take him and put him over there. No, 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 not up there. Down here. There we go. Hire a couple more and fire one of these guys because we don't need two or three. We, we don't need three yet. We will need three as the park progresses. Suspended swing and coaster airplane cars. Okay, I probably won't do anything with that. Let's actually change the theme of this. Let's actually change the theme of this. Um, let's see. Venus's passion. Yeah, Venus passion. Make this red again. And the supports can be a muted pink color. Oh, that is not muted. <laughs> Where's the more muted options? Uh, not that. Not that. Let's just make it wood. Nah, white was better. We'll make the top, or the rails, wood. And make this. 
Oh, there we go. Well, there we don't go. I'm not sold on this. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll get back to that. What is this one? Hurricane? Hurricane is enormous. We might actually replace it. And what a funky design, too. Are there, like, brakes here? Hold on. Let's watch what this does. I haven't actually watched this uh, progress through its track layout, because this should have enough momentum to return to the station. Shouldn't it? Yeah, the, the, the chain lift here is doing no purpose. Okay, yeah, that's weird. I'm going to delete it. Delete it! Get out of my park! And we will replace it with something else. But not yet. For now, let's turn this loan down the rest of the way. There we go. But now that we may not be able to charge as much at the entrance of our park. So let me go click on this. Maybe 35, I don't know. Oh, I forgot. We have a pirate ship. Let's build this somewhere. Um... Where can I build this? Here's a spot. Ba 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 da 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 free. Ride this pirate ship for free, ladies and gentlemen. Come on down. I could put a coliseum in the water. That is... Well, nah, that's kind of weird. Yeah, that's weird. Let's delete it. Not cool. Um... Hmm. This area is begging to have spiral slides in it. But we'll get back to that. Let's look at our roller coasters again. What are the options? We need a looper, I think. Let's place that over here. I think the, uh... Yeah, the station of the old roller coaster was right along the edge here. Let's make this plane so I can see it. That's one train. Still one train. Okay. There we go. Two trains. That's what I wanted to see. And this train is so long. Can I do this? Oh, look at that. I can. <laughs> because these trains are so long. Neat. Okay. I was hoping to save this spot for flat rides, but... Yeah, let's save it for flat rides. Instead... Should I go this way? And look at this, there's no support, so that doesn't make any sense. Okay. So we'll turn like this, come up, and dive down. Let's see, that was 140, so this should be safe, I think. Let's just watch it just to make sure. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Okay, perfect. Let's loop. Whoops. Loop again. And I wish that this had the capability of curved turns, but unfortunately it doesn't. Uh-oh.
And I am missing... I'm missing the loop. What am I doing wrong? So this doesn't go through it? What if I flatten out? Okay, so that does go through it. Okay, so we're too tall if I do that. Okay, so let's go like this then. Twist one has broken down. That's why we have mechanics, ladies and gentlemen. And what's stopping me here? Oh, I'm out. That's the edge of the park. Oh, I see what the problem is. <laughs> that was never going to work anyway. <laughs> okay, well, let's do that. And now I'm in the way of myself. Great. Unless I do that. Let's watch the, the train, make sure these G-forces aren't too extreme. It is a little fast through those loops, but not excessively so. And I think I need to bank these. So let's bank this one. Oh, what I could do... Here we go! Perfect. Delete that. Now dive down. Or maybe, to make this steeper, I could squeeze another piece in. So we started at 140, so I think we should have enough momentum to make it, make it back up to 95. I hope and pray. Maybe not. Here I am complaining about this roller coaster being too big, and then I went and built something bigger. <laughs> Typical me. Look at me, what am I doing? I'm just having too much fun with this. Making this thing uh, enormous. And that's a problem. I do not like the way that looks. So let's make it a little shorter. And, uh... Can I change this at all? I cannot, it seems. Okay. Can I fit a photo section here? Nope. I cannot. Okay, change of plans. Let's turn like this. And no, that's not going to work either. Okay, so I think we should bring this back to the station. This is sufficiently enormous and not really doing us much good anymore. And I forgot I was going to put flat rights there. I don't want to ruin that spot. Okay. Let's line this up over here. Uh, let's put brakes on, actually. 18. Ah, oh, we don't have room there. Okay. Instead of that... Put brakes here. To 13. There we go. So now it's a complete circuit. Entrance will go... Here. And exit will go there. Okay. This thing is ridiculously big, and maybe doesn't really need to be. Did we win already? Hold on. Oh no, we have to have 1,000. Okay, I was thinking like, wow, we have 700. <laughs> we 
We are doing good. We're making good time. We're not even halfway through year two, and we're more than halfway to our objective, so things are going very well. And why do we have vandalism there? Did I miss that? I must have missed it. And now we're having lag. Okay, I gotta watch these lateral G's because I'm a little concerned with them. Especially right there. These vertical G's. Oh my goodness, we made it to 5 G's. Yeah, this isn't gonna be safe. <laughs> this is gonna have terrible ratings. We crossed the 3 G threshold. But out of curiosity, I wanna see what the stats are. Ultra Extreme. Yeah, no. And 5G, 5.5G, oh my goodness. What in the world did we do? <laughs> oh, we have to redesign this whole segment. I just don't have it today with my roller coaster design. What is wrong with me? Okay, so we'll go up to 70 feet like this. This will hopefully slow us down enough. Although now we're at the very edge of the park. So I don't think we can go through them like we did before. But we can do those helixes though. Now we're lined up, but how do we even connect to that? Okay. Well, now I'm stumped. Hmm. Um... Yeah, I don't know what to do. This is not going to work the way I wanted it to. So let's break those. Bring it back to here. Bump up to 90 feet. Ten. Let's break this. Get started here. And that's not going to work either. Shoot. Unless I bring this down. There we go. I feel like I'm doing damage control at this point. This looks really, really janky. I am not liking this at all. There we go, to 80 feet. And now I've completely missed. Okay. 
Okay, well, it looks like this is what I have to do. Straighten out. Little mini drop right there. Now, this should theoretically be safe now. I think that these loops are a little higher up, so they don't have quite as much uh, force going through them. Let's try this again. Let's watch these vertical Gs. And the lateral Gs, too. Okay, a little more respectable. We're not exceeding 4 Gs through the loops. That's what I wanted to see. It's a bit safer. And through these helixes. Yeah, I think this is a lot better. Okay. Woohoo! And up it goes. All right, so I think we've I think we did it. Let's see what the stats are. Okay, much better. So let's open this now. Very good. We'll call this uh, Jupiter's Wrath. No, no. Ugh, darn hockey's Jupiter's Jupiter apostrophe s Wrath. And these... Oh, our ad campaign's just finished. So let's restart those. Advertise the park for 12 weeks. Advertise Jupiter's Wrath. Oh, they can't get to the entrance. Whoops. There you go. Okay, Jupiter's Wrath. For 12 weeks. Beautiful. Okay, and I left a spot there because clearly it is in desperate need of a spiral slide. Woo! Let's open this and turn this off. Oh, we have a wooden wild mouse. Nice. Cool. Okay. Let's make this whole thing red. Red and white. And these trains can be a blazing yellow color. Yellow and white. Okay, that seems to work. Let's go different colors per train, just to keep it interesting. These can be like his lightning bolts, and sometimes lightning is blue, which is really cool when it is. Yeah, like so uh, Jupiter's Wrath, God of the Sky, so he sends down storms and lightning bolts. So the red, I don't know what the red represents, uh, but I didn't want to make it black like a storm cloud, because black just doesn't, you know, it's hard to see it. I want something that pops. Okay, let's turn our loan down. We have our ad campaigns running still. What have we unlocked recently? The Wooden Wild Mouse, the Fruity Ice Stall. Okay. We could build that. Oh, we have burgers. Let's build burgers first and place it over here. Burger stall. Boop. Make those $2. We should probably have an info kiosk right on this corner. We'll make these yellow. Unless we already have a yellow one. How about purple? We, have, we haven't really done purple umbrellas. And uh, fruity ice. Or no, drinks. We need another drink stall. Very good. And the fruity ice can go all the way down here. Okay, our duck has been sufficiently quacked. I think we need more bathrooms in this park. So we'll put one right here. So we have one there, one here. Maybe one of the far reach further reaches of the park. Down here in the trees. Perfect. And uh, what else? We don't have any souvenir stalls aside from the information kiosk, which isn't much of a souvenir stall. Um... What are we researching? A water ride? Okay. Let's have another one of these. Or maybe not. Well, I guess we can if we put it here. Uh, delete. 
put it here, I mean. So that way we can get the uh, the entrance queue line in, in place. Bada bing, bada boom. Open and make this free. Perfect. Now for a spiral slide. Which can go here. Okay, so all these little rides are elevating our soft guest cap. That means we can also turn the price of our park up. Let's uh, bump this up to 50. Well, actually, we have one, two, three roller coasters plus the water ride. I think we could charge a 65, honestly. Let's bump this up to 65. The maximum we can charge. And as I said, this zone is begging for some spiral slides. Let's place one there. Open it up. Turn the price off. Max number of people on the ride. Let's build another one. Max number of people on the ride. Turn the price down to zero. Perfect. And another one. And one more right here. Since I can't I can't fit any more here. Although it's the same color as that one. Oh that's fine, we'll we'll change it. First, place that there. Make this free. Maximum number of riders. Okay, now these colors could do so uh, have a change. Let's have a green and red. That's different from the others. Okay, very good. Ooh, cotton candy. Let's place that right here. Whoops. Make that a buck twenty. And plop a tree down right behind it. An oak tree. Look at all this money we're making, guys. Our loan is paid off. We uh, need 25 more guests to reach our objective. Okay, 15 more guests, and we will win this scenario before we even get halfway through year two. So that's, we're doing really good. I think we could do with another Ferris wheel. So let's place a Ferris wheel right here. Test it out. And uh, let's actually close it. I need to move this entrance over one tile. There we go. There's a hill in the way. There we go. Okay. Let's look over our park and see where we could potentially build more roller coasters. This area is pretty much taken up. We could fit something tiny in this area, potentially, although we'd probably have to put the station on this side over the water and then build it up over this area. And then this zone over here, we could fit something. So we have spinning wild mouse and a wooden wild mouse. The wooden wild mouse is more compact because it has access to steep track pieces. So I think this area we will give, we'll, we'll place, I think we'll build a spinning wild mouse in this area. So let's do this. Not like that. Perfect. Let's have a series of mini drops. Woohoo! And then a big drop. And then have this uh, bounce right over the path to scare everybody on the ground. Can we go up to 70? 
I should probably have this testing in the background, honestly. Just so I can make sure this actually will actually perform and not get stuck. Uh-oh, we're stuck now. <laughs> up to 55. I could turn the speed of this lift hill up, too. Six miles per hour. Very good. Okay, that corner right there may be a little extreme. And we may also have some stalls right there, potentially. But I want to see how this does, so I'm not going to change anything yet. Let's put some brakes right here. And swing around like this. And I thought we would be able to connect to the station here, but it looks like we won't be able to. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay. Hmm. So instead, we'll do this. Go up like so. And that way we don't need as much... Well. Hmm. Yeah, we don't need those brakes, do we? So we'll break all this. Come around like this. And we'll add a little hill to try to slow us down a little bit. Absorb some of our speed. Okay. Let's fire this up and see what happens. Oh, first, first. I gotta do this before I forget. There we go. Fire it up. It is raining a lot in this scenario. My goodness. Uh-oh. That's a problem. Oh, man. We don't have room for it. Oh, crud. In that case, let's close this, move the exit to this side, and have it connect over there. Because I want room, more room for this queue line. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Car one. Woohoo! Let's watch these lateral G's, make sure nothing is too extreme for it. Okay, that was about two and three quarters, or two and two thirds, I mean, but not too terrible. Woohoo! Okay, this looks good. Alright, perfect. So let's, uh, first of all, make sure the price is fair. Nice stats! Okay, two dollars is fair. We'll open this. And I forgot to turn this down to maybe three seconds. Let's build the exit on this so it doesn't uh, so people don't fall to the ground to get stuck. Perfect. Oh my goodness, we're making so much money. Woo! We went from five thousand a month to fifteen thousand in just one month. Holy smoke! Let's look at the entrance. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, and yeah, we reached our objective. And we're still having people pouring into the park. Look at that. I think spamming spiral slides may have played a part of that too, honestly. Okay. Well, I don't like the color of these supports, so let's make those white, just so they stand out more. Make these guys red. Red and green. Yeah, red and green, Christmas colors. Thanksgiving is over. It's almost uh, uh, December in just a few days, so that seems fitting. Let's go classical Roman. We'll come back. Classical Roman. And we will name this uh, Mercury. Mercury's errand. I don't know if I spelled Mercury right. <laughs> go ahead and make fun of me in the comments if I spelled it wrong. Wait, wait, I think I know, I think I know. The U in the beginning is supposed to be an E. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, Mercury's. Mercury's errand. And people are already paying to ride it. That's nice. Ooh, bumper cars. Bumper cars, let's go. Where is it? Give me those bumper cars. Let's find a space to build this. Uh, this terrain is not helping us at all. Oh, here we go. 
I said I was going to put a flat right here, right? I guess this is the perfect spot. So let's, uh, first of all, get the path to it set up. Okay. There we go. Make this free. Wow, some people are willing to pay two, what, whatever it was, one and a half dollars for it. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the, what, what are these colors? Come on. First of all, let's change the roof. That's not the roof. This is the roof. Make the, no, no, those are the trusses. What the heck? Let's make this yellow. Or no, make the top red and make, no, 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 no. Make that, ah, oh, I can't click. Make the top red and the supports yellow. And then different colors per car. So car one, well, first of all, let's uh, make the highlight white. Car one, car two will be red. Car three will be blue, that's the primary colors. Car four, pink, that's a shade of red. Car five, light blue, shade of blue. Car six, secondary colors, so go green orange and purple now I get to some more advanced colors like cyan that's kind of dark let's go with the brighter cyan now the dark one's better so that's cyan maybe brown black and white perfect now they're all different colors okay and what was that notification I missed tree tree topper still hasn't been fixed uh, good question. Where are these guys? Oh, I need to hire more of them. Okay. Because I have more rides. We need more mechanics to keep up with the... Keep up with everything. Okay. And the reason I named this Mercury's Errand, uh, what made me think of that was spinning and tight radiuses, and that made me think of the planet Mercury. And the planet has really nothing to do with the Greek, or the Roman god, aside from the fact that he's supposed to be very fast. And since Mercury has the shortest orbit around the sun, he would be fast. I, I don't know. I don't know. My brain works in weird ways. We'll put it that way. We have a new shop or Estelle coming out. That's good. Let's build the wooden wild mouse I was saying I was going to build. And let's build it um, over the water. Put the station over the water. I can't see. Let's see. Plane. There we go. How many mice do I get? That's a lot of a lot of mice. Well, they look like rats, honestly. Okay. Let's flatten this faster, sooner. Oh, the merry-go-round died. What a shame! Poor merry-go-round. He will be missed. Uh-oh. Can I dive under this? Oh, look at that! I wonder what kind of crazy G-force we'll have right here, though. That'll be some major ejector airtime. Yeah, that doesn't look safe. Let's not do that. Instead, we'll do this. So we went from 70 or 75, so let's uh, bring this back up to 55. That's not going to work. I didn't think that would work. Okay, to 40 feet. And bump. That's a crash. Or it would be a crash. Little tight turn right there. We'll follow our follow our tracks just like this. Oh, and he barely, barely made it. That's not safe. Okay, we'll keep it flat then. Maybe 35? I have a bad feeling about that though. It may be time for a second lift hill. Oh, that looks okay. Okay.
Okay, that might be a little tight, so let me change the way I designed this. Have this one tight. And already this isn't going to work. Gosh dang it. Okay. Okay, we'll just try it. We'll just try it, see what happens. Let's add another station platform so we get more rats into our queue line. More rats into our station, I mean. More mice. Why do I keep calling them rats? <laughs> uh, let's change the lift fuel speed to the max and fire away. Car number one, follow this in main view. Why is the sound gone? That's weird. Okay. Lateral G's, not too, not too terrible. Woohoo! Here's the sketchy part. <laughs> like two and a half. That was jarring. But hey, it's okay. We survived. And I forgot we need to turn this way down to three seconds. Oh, let's just turn it off, actually. And open for two dollars, folks. Come ride the Woody, the Wooden Wild Mouse. And we can name this one. Uh, what is the Roman equivalent of Hera? Zeus, uh, Zeus's wife, Jupiter's wife. I can't remember. Plato's platonic plunge. Plung, plunge. I actually don't remember what platonic means. It's just, it's alliteration, so we're gonna use it. <laughs> it probably doesn't mean anything, honestly. Let's see, where else can I build stuff? Oh, we are so rich. Look at this. Look at this. We're making so much money. Sheesh. And we've pretty much filled up all of the land we have to work with, but we are about halfway through year two. You know, this might be our time to actually get really fancy with the scenery. Um, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with all this leftover time. This scenario was really easy. It was just annoying at the beginning because of all the junk everywhere. But now that we've cleaned it up, it's not, not too bad. Let me quack this duck. Here. There we go. Very good. Okay, well, what I could do is delete this and replace it. Yeah, it's broken down, so let's sell it, get rid of all that nasty, broken stuff. And I see a broken bench that I must have missed. Let's fix that. Ad campaigns just wrapped up, so let's restart those. Let's advertise uh, Mercury's mission. Mercury, uh, what is it? Mercury's errand. That sounds better, even though it's not alliteration. Let's go. Free rides on the Ferris wheel. And, uh... Free food. Let's go free fries. And half-price entry to the park. Okay. So this park is going to inflate with a lot of guests, so I have to build more rides to create capacity for them. Uh, what am I going to do here? I could build a train coaster with multiple stations. There's an idea. Let's do that. That'll be fun. So let's go... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. How long of a train does this get? Okay, that's two trains. So we only need this long of a station. Okay, instead of doing that, let's actually go up a little bit. We're building over, over the path, so I'll probably build some, I'll probably add supports like, uh, like this, grab this, make it the same color, something like this, just to make it look not, like it's not floating there, but not yet, I want to focus on the construction of this thing. We went from 80 to 60. Let's get a photo right at the top of this hill. Drop down again. Roar over the heads of our guests. Uh-oh, do I fit there? Oh, no, I don't fit. No, that's not going to work. Okay, fine, we'll do this. Woohoo! Get a picture right there. And we'll put the... Uh, 
We'll put a station over here. That's not going to work. Um, okay, let's put some brakes on. The 13. And we'll make this work somehow. Uh, if I put the station here, I don't have room for it. So I guess we'll do this. Block brakes. Turn this all the way up. And station number two. How long was this? One, two, three, four, five, six tiles long. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So we went to 80 feet. But there's a little delay at the beginning. Alright, so from 75 to 55, that seems like it'll work just fine. Now I have to connect to the station somehow. You know, this may mar the whole park. This looks kind of interesting. But it might work out. Let me just see. We're going to crash into that, aren't we? Okay, let's do this. Here we go. So that's at uh, 40 feet? Oh, that's way up there. What the heck? I thought it was not that low down. Okay, well, now we're at 40. 40 from here. Let's put some brakes to a nice 18 miles per hour. And block brakes. Make these block brakes a little faster. Let's put some brakes here. Second set of brakes to 13 miles per hour. There we go. Okay. This will be interesting. Oh, we have a dinghy slide. Interesting. All right. So we have five trains. Let's change that to four trains. Make sure this is set to the maximum time. And test. Where's train number one? Let's follow it. Does this ruin the park? I don't know. It looks kind of strange. Like it's kind of covering a lot of things. Well, I guess it's only really covering the wild mouse, but it's fine. Woohoo! So that's going to end up in this station. Let's watch this train as it progresses. So this will be like our uh, transportation service kind of sort of made, or something, I don't know. Transport with photos. Woohoo! Brakes, more brakes, and block brakes. And safely into the station. Okay. So that's good. Let's get our ratings. Oh, and I forgot we have to wait for train one to make it back. What am I, what am I talking about? <laughs> train one's over here. Here it is. So when train one reaches it, we'll get the ratings. But for now, let's build these. Actually, I want to make sure I have a corridor through here if I ever want to build out that way. So that looks good. Now let's add, <coughs> I'm losing my voice. <laughs> let's add this. There we go. Did that just not work? Oh! I did that completely wrong. <laughs> okay. Let's fix that. And fix that. Perfect. And I think one of these guests got lost. He'll find his way back, probably. Oh, what is this? 3.3. Did I not have any big enough drops? What the heck? Isn't this drop big enough? One of our stat requirements was failed. Uh, that's interesting, because our largest drop height is really tall. Where, where is it? 
uh, largest, highest drop height, 62 feet. Yeah, that's plenty big. Maybe by having two stations, each section is supposed to be a minimum length? I'm so confused. Okay, I gotta look this up. Minimum requirements. Let's see. Minimum requirements for mine, train, coaster, and roller coaster tycoon. Okay, it has a minimum length requirement. Oh, I barely missed it. I barely, barely missed it. I think both sides, both halves, have to be more than 1,214 feet. So the first half is too short. So we need to edit this, I think. Okay. Let's break this. Add a bit of length that way. And I think I've boxed myself in. Whoops. Okay, yeah, this isn't gonna, this isn't gonna work, is it? There we go, 15 feet. Straighten out. Okay, so now test it. Woohoo! Ba ba da da. And we have broken benches right here and right here. Did I just miss these earlier, or do we have vandals in this park? I sure hope not. Let's see. I'm running out of cash! That's the top thought. That's good, that means people are spending their money. Nice. And I don't see any vandals. Let's see, actions? Yeah, I don't see any actions. There's a lot of people on the log flume, my goodness. Uh, let's speed this up so we can get the results back from this uh, mine train coaster. Oh, we still missed it. Oh, we didn't add enough length to it. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, this has to be turned down. Let's, uh... Oh, it just has too many trains. Okay. Interesting. Okay, then. Well, let's break all of this again. And something's in my way. Question is what? Oh, it's the lift hill. Okay. Now the question is, will that be too many G-forces? And I missed. Okay. You know what? This is ugly. I don't like it. I'm deleting it. It was worth a shot. And now I have all this for nothing. So let's build something else there. Oh, a stand up roller coaster. Nice. Let's uh, put our entrance right. Here, exit right there. Okay. Let's 
go up to 70 feet. Let's go small half loop, but I don't have enough vertical space for that. Okay. A little bit taller. I don't know what I'm doing. And the path's in the way. Okay. Let's go steep, of lout, turn around like this. Here we go. 85 to 50, that's actually way too much. So let's do this. Half loop again. Up to 65. Now we're on to something. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Let's go down again. Now the question is, will we make it back up to 75 feet? I didn't think so. Okay, let's delete that. Bring this up to 65 feet instead. And that's lined up with the, with the other piece. Okay. What am I crashing into? Oh, I see. Okay. sneak right through our inversion up to 55 feet and down again this is actually coming together beautifully look at this and I'm stuck nothing's gonna make that work okay There goes the merry-go-round. Rest in peace. Okay, so the station is at 40 feet, so I need to work this back up. 70, that's too tall. Let's break that. This is 50. Let's make this, uh, there we go. Now we're in, sync, in line with it. Oh, we're not in line. Okay. We have to go wider then. Or not. Oh, shoot. Oh, here we go. Okay, so that'll have to do. Let's put some brakes here just in case. Try to slow down the train a little early so we don't have any collisions. Turn the lift to speed up and fire it up. And what is up with this color scheme? Let's call this, uh, uh, I don't know. Okay, that's kind of interesting, but I think I need to recolor Pluto's platonic plunge to something black because it's Pluto. It's uh, Hades, the god of the underworld. So, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's see. Let's follow these lateral Gs, make sure nothing is too extreme. Barely crest to that hill. Nice. 
And it comes back to the station at a gentle pace. That's good. Okay, let's get our test results back. Holy smoke, that's a really high intensity. Uh, okay. Not too shabby. That's not the end of the world. I appear to have forgotten to place a photo section. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll open it. There we go. And we will call this... Uh, what will we call this? First of all, what's up with the color of these supports? That's ridiculous. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know what to do with this color. Green is pretty cool, though. And for a name, we could call this... Um, I don't know. Caesar's Stand Up Comedy. Because it's a stand up roller coaster. Get it? Ha ha ha. No. Why did that not work? There we go. Daff Gad Girlfriend. <laughs> I don't even know what. <laughs> I don't know what to call this. Forget it. I'm just going to call this the Stand Up Roller Coaster. And I spelled roller coaster like the roller coaster tycoon title. I'm not sure why I did that. I didn't even spell stand up right. I can't think of a name. My brain is is fudge today. It's not working. Let's see. What are some other ones? Uh, Neptune's. Uh. Oops. Nightmare. There we go. Because it's built over the water, right? Let's give these some more aquatic colors. Now we're talking. Although I think I'm going to invert these. There we go. Or maybe sea foam. Yeah. Sea foam, like on the shore. Okay, return this to classical. Okay. So that'll do. We have a handful of people riding it. Too intense for me, they say. Really good value? What are you talking about? Didn't you pay to get into this park? What the heck? Huh. Can I buy land, actually? Let me check. I cannot. Okay. It was worth checking. But that's weird. Could I really charge more for this? Maybe I should. Let's try $3. And it looks like our ad campaigns are wrapping up. Oh, we're in year three now. Look at that. Let's see, Neptune's Nightmare, where are you? Neptune's Nightmare for 12 weeks. Let's go free ice cream for 12 weeks. Half price entry to the park. And free rides on the bumper cars. Perfect. Oh wait, the bumper cars were already free. Whoops, okay. Let's make it cost, cost something. <laughs> so it isn't a, uh, We'll make it cost something so it, the ad campaign actually does something. Hey, look at that. They're even paying for it. Cool. Maybe if we just charge pocket change for all of our rides, we'll maximize, uh, we'll, uh, maximize the potential of this park. Well, now we have this whole bare, bare patch of land to work. What should we build? We could have one of these, I suppose. Let's place it right here. Not even sure what this layout is supposed to be. It just looks kind of weird, honestly. Let's come down like this. Hang out down here.
Well, that's not gonna work. Oh, we have a corkscrew roller coaster. Nice. All right. Can we go straight over this? Oh, perfect. We can. Look at that. Let me quack this duck real quick. All right. And we'll bring this back to the station. Let's go down to... Oh, 20 feet was the correct height. Okay. It's kind of a weird a weird car layout. Let's see, sports cars. Cheshire cats. Oh nice. We can do Cheshire cats. Wait, 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 wait. How many of these am I supposed to get? Nineteen as opposed to sports cars. Seventeen. Okay, so I get more people if I do Cheshire cats. Cool. Let's test it. Turn that off and build our entrance and exit. Okay. While that's testing, let's track down this noisy merry-go-round and turn off its music. Ha! Take that. Same with this thing. We'll turn the music off. The reason being, I'm going to turn on Roman fanfare music. Not that. Where is it? There we go. Now we're rocking. Okay. So we have a massive income going on for the past few months of uh, 13 to 17,000 or so. We're about two-thirds of the way through March, and we already have 12,000, so if we can make another 6,000 in the last eight, seven days or so. What else do we have? Oh yeah, we just unlocked the corkscrew, so we'll have to build some of those somewhere. First, let's uh, get this to wrap up, and I think a minimum wait time of 10 seconds, not 10 seconds, of one second may be in order, so they space out properly. Okay, nice stats, we'll open this, turn this down to zero, make it free, wonderful. All right, where's the corkscrew? Come here. No, 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 not that. Corkscrew roller coaster. Somewhere I have room, hopefully. Side, so I uh, don't appear to have room anywhere, actually. I could build it over this pond, but that ruins the ruins the whole aesthetic of the entrance, though. And this car ride has taken up a lot of space. Okay, let's just build right here. Turn the entrance off so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Let's go up, corkscrew left, no right, corkscrew right again, half loop, half loop left, oh wait, photo section, right there. Yeah, those Cheshire cats are in the way. So maybe if I move this whole thing forward. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Now the question is, is that other roller coaster in the way? Probably is. Yep, I was afraid of that. Okay. We may just have to make this a shorter roller coaster. But that's alright. It doesn't have to be super long. If 
photo section. And now mirror what we did on the other side. Perfect. Okay, so let's go launched, uh, passing station. Well, no, let's just do reverse and clean shuttle. Why not? It does make the throughput a little slower, but I'm not really concerned about throughput. There we go. Test. And speed that up. Up you go. Woohoo! There it goes. Through the loop. Up the hill. Beautiful. And because there's only, what is that, five cars, it loses momentum more quickly. Okay. Oh, we have a chairlift. Nice. I'm not sure if I have a use for it, though. 777. Seven, seven. Looks like we hit the jackpot on the excitement rating. Cool. Well, let's build the entrance to it. And open. Perfect. We have 99,000, just a... 500 more, and we will have 100,000 people in this park. We're in April of year three, so nearly halfway through the last year, and we are pretty much out of room to build anything else. Oh, we have a top spin. Cool. I must have missed that. Let's find a place to plop this down and add to our... What, what's up with this redundant... Oh, no. I forgot about those. <laughs> That's when I was trying to build the train. Okay, then. Well, let's get rid of these. Handyman, get out of there. That's right. Turn around. Go that way. Perfect. Speaking of which, how are these guys holding up? Okay, we need to hire more mechanics by the look of it. Where can I build this? Because everything is so hilly. I can build it over the water, I guess. Let's go Berserk Mode! Wonderful. Make this free. That'll elevate our soft guest cap. Let's do the same with some spiral slides. Just place them over here over the water. There we go. Had to make sure that the end, the exit was actually touching the path so people don't fall out and drown. Let's add some more. More spammage. Oh, someone actually paid a buck ten to go into that. What the heck? <laughs> maybe the maybe the they're willing to pay so much because the park entrance is so cheap. Maybe I should leave the default price on these on. Oh, what is that? It's the same default color. Give me another one. There we go. Perfect. Will people actually pay this? A buck fifty? Oh, he actually paid it. What the heck? A buck fifty? Okay. I guess I'll just leave that on. See what, how that affects the park. So what is that? Uh, 90 additional guests attracted to the park? So we could try to double it again. Although we only have, what is it? April, May, June, July, August, September. We only have about six months to do that to get another 500 guests. It's possible, but I don't know if the park's gonna look pretty afterward. We can definitely try. I kinda don't want to, though. Hmm. I can't see nothing. Here's an idea. Flanking, uh, flanking Ferris wheels. Here we go. Turn this price down to zero. Perfect. And look at all this money we're drawing in. Woohoo! Let's go! What are we researching now? A water ride? Okay. We could build a chairlift somewhere, potentially. 
we scout out potential places we could have this uh, work. Maybe if I build it backwards. Let's build it over here to start with. Whoops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is this building backwards? Oh, I see what I did. <laughs> it's supposed to go this way. There we go. And somehow I managed to get through all of that without touching anything. Nice. So let's go straight over this way, over all these rides. And it looks like I should have started going down already. Okay, let's uh, dive under this hill. And the merry-go-round is in the way. Shoot! Am I level with the with the path? Oh, it looks like it, but the ground is in the way, though. Okay, maybe instead, let's, uh... Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. Ah, that could work. I don't think it will, though. Let's just see. If I connect this up like this, then the entrance will only have one tile. But it should have enough throughput that it will... Uh, I don't know. Here's an idea. We do this. Break that. Do the this. Oh, wrong button. I keep missing. Okay. Break this. I... Oops. Deleted the bench. Or not the bench. The garbage can. Get... Get on the path, buddy. Here we go. We have a straggler lost down here. Buddy, get up there. Okay. Connect that up. Connect this up. Perfect. Now we'll put the other entrance and exit over here. Beautiful. Let's make sure we have the maximum number of cars. We do. Turn the minimum wait time down to three seconds and test. And build our entrance and exit. Okay, so while this tests, let's uh, do a quick inventory of our rides. They're all cheap because of how I have everything set up, but some things... This is cost money. Okay, no, it's just not popular. Okay. It is about to rain again, so perhaps I should uh, add some more info kiosks. We have one there, so let's put another one way over in this corner. Right here. And make these pink umbrellas. Come get your pink umbrellas, folks. Come get it. I'm sure these ducks are enjoying it. Get quacked, you wacky, uh, feathered weirdo. Yay, we have balloons! I missed it. I didn't realize we had them. Let's see, make those 140. Is that too expensive? No, people just aren't buying it. Okay. Same price as that park. Let's have another color. So that's light blue. Let's have red over here. And then yellow somewhere. Somewhere. There we go. Yellow. Hello, yellow fellow. Let's build our secondary colors. Starting with green. And then orange and purple. Okay. Orange. And purple. If I can get in here. 
There we go. Uh-oh, we have vandalism again. Did I just miss this, or do we have new vandals? That's not good. Okay, that's all the primaries and secondaries. Let's squeeze in a pink balloon stand, just so we have pink as well. Open. Perfect. And I don't know if these are too expensive or not. Let's see. Really good va- What? Huh? That can't be. Okay. Let's try 150. Is that too- Is that a good enough price? Come on, people. Someone buy a balloon! There we go. Okay. Buck 50. No thoughts. So 150 might be the sweet spot for these. I've just been undercharging this whole time. We have 1,600 guests. We're May 27th of year three, so we have a few more months. We could potentially double it, as I have been doing. If I just spam flat rides everywhere. Let's build a rapids ride in the water. And build it down into the water, which is kind of cool. Well, it doesn't really look the same in the water, because it looks like it's just... It should... Uh, it's not supposed to... It makes sense if it's a river through the land, but if it's a lake, it makes sense to have a track. So never mind, I'll give it a track. Let's build it up above the, above the water surface, like this. Maybe here. Okay. Woohoo! And splash. And not splash. The roller coaster's in the way. Let's uh, do this instead. There we go. Rapids! Then turn. Waterfalls! Turn and go through. Let's put a whirlpool in it. Let's put a photo section here. Put some rapids on this. Whirlpool before we turn. And turn again. Now for another hill to 15 feet. Same deal. More rapids. And then smooth sailing. Just smooth sailing, everybody. Let's turn for no reason into the structure itself. Back out. Uh-oh. Waterfalls make everyone wet before they get to the station. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. We get red? Oh, that's cool. I think let's let's stick with the red boats. Make sure we have the maximum number. Turn this down to four seconds. And test it out. Okay. We'll call it Neptune's Rage. And my all, all caps is on. And I can't spell. Ooh, a bobsled coaster! That, that'll be cool. And that actually looks okay over the water. Although I am running out of room to build over the water. Advertising campaign has finished. Okay, June, July, August, September. Okay, so I can set these to 12 months without any issues. Not 12 months, 12 weeks. Let's advertise the corkscrewer. Yeah, maybe no. Let's advertise uh, Mercury's Errand because it has crazy stats, even though it's a small ride. Let's see, free burgers. Come on down, my friends. Half price entry to the park. Here's something that you can't do in va in the vanilla game: is if you advertise for half price, you can't advertise for free at the same time. Or maybe you can in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1. I just know that in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, you can't do that. Okay, free rides on Neptune's Nightmare. Come on in, folks. Come enjoy the wonder that is this park. No results yet. We're still waiting for the first boat to return. Okay, let's see what the results are. Nice, nice. All right, 
open that right up. Perfect. And I think we need more handyman to keep up with this mess. Like this garbage can that needs to be emptied. What are the predominant thoughts in this park? Let me see. Running out of cash? That's a good one. Want to go home? That's not a good one. Feel sick? Clean and tidy? Okay, so overall this is really good. Very, very good. No, no worries with that. And these are all getting backed up for some reason. Is that because they're waiting for guests? Huh. That's interesting. I think we could squeeze a slide in here if I move this burger stall. So let's move it. Mess up that tree, unfortunately. And build ourselves a spiral slide. Right there. Perfect. Let's make this... 10 cents to ride it. Maximum of 5 people on at a time. Okay, so things are going very well. Very, very well. We have $150,000 almost. My goodness. There we go, $150,000. We have 1,700 guests. It looks like we will, in fact, double the objective by the time we reach the deadline. So that's amazing. We have built all of the flat rides available to us, plus this car ride, plus the go-karts. We've built these two. I didn't bother the ding slide. And I built a handful of the roller coasters, but not all of them. I wonder if I could squeeze this in somewhere. Or what I could do, what I should do, is this is not not the most uh, useful use of our time. So let me get rid of that. Not our time, our space, I mean. Okay. Let's put our exit right here. Entrance right there. Now, is this going to give us single cars? Oh, we get trains. Nice. Do we get brakes? Oh, good. We get brakes. Perfect. Is that two trains? Still one train. Two trains, please. Yes, two trains, wonderful. Let's go, let's build up like this. And drop. Big drop. Let me turn the lift hill speed up. So we went from 75, let's go up to 65 and see if that will will work for us. Okay, just gently glides over the crest of that hill. Now I'm worried about these. Okay, that's a little fast for comfort, so let's break that up to 55. I'm a little more comfortable with that. Okay. There, dang it, that's not gonna work. Okay, um... Is this going to work? And now we're working into the support structure of the wooden roller coaster. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Now I just need to find a way to bring it back to the station. And these slides are in the way. Shoot! Should have thought that through. Um, do I get S-Bends? I do, look at that. I wonder if it's too much if I do this to 30 feet. Then back down. Oh, maybe not that far down. Uh, to 25. And down to 20. To 20, I say. There we go. But we may have, we may, uh, it may fly off the track. So let's see what it does. Woohoo! Ooh, launched free fall. Yes. 
That is probably the best flat ride we can use to spam in our roller coaster, in our, not a roller coaster, in our park to attract people to it. So let's watch this thing progress through, make sure it doesn't blink out of existence, because if it does that, it means it flew off the track. So here it comes. Woohoo! Yep, it just winked out of existence. That means it flew off the track. That's... That's bad. That's very bad. So let's break all this. So we have an extra spacer here. If we place that in the front over here, that could be brakes. So let's put brakes here to 22. Up to 30. And that's not going to work. And we still get the spacer. What the heck? Oh, it's because before I had this transition piece also transition to a, a sloped piece, not just transitioning from a banked turn. Oh, that's fine. Let's change these colors. So, oh my goodness, that's bright. Looks like seaweed. Kind of a fun color, honestly. Well, let's make this red so we can actually see it. Okay, the brake was the right call. Oh, <laughs> it almost fell off the track. Oh my goodness, almost fell off the... The, never mind. What we could do, more brakes. Break that. Brakes to 13. Now test it for real. And while that's testing, I could actually probably make this Q line longer. Let me just uh, do that. Break that poor unfortunate tree. Here we go. Okay. Let's follow the train. Follow this in main view. And watch as it progresses through the glorious track. Woohoo! You know what? This blends with the water too much. Caught by the last set of brakes. Much better, much better. Okay. I'm not concerned anymore. This looks good. All right, test results, please. Woohoo! Not bad. Let's open this for business and uh, let's work on this launched free fall. Where'd it go? Launched free fall. Build custom design and that's a horrible place. What am I doing? see 15 115 195 okay let's go 67 whoops test okay 69 okay very good. Not the most exciting ride, just extremely intense by the look of it. But this will draw a lot of people to the park because this is a flat ride that behaves a lot like a roller coaster for uh, for the, the kind of stats it generates and the kind of uh, the, the numbers, the kind of numbers it uh, draws to the park. Number of guests, I mean. So I'm going to leave that at $2. <laughs> See this gray, the green shirt, he's like, whoa, that's too intense. So we'll have this one here. Let's build maybe a shorter one, a shorter option. Up to 45 feet tall. And I can't even see it because of this color. Let's make it purple. And this one will make it red with a white core. There we go. Okay, this one's launch speed. Let's make it 47. Or no, 45. What does that look like? Oh, that's pathetic. Let's go to 54. There we go. Perfect. Let's get the exit and the entrance. 
No! I wasn't supposed to go there. I think I need to put a fence first. Let's see. Little invisible fence. There we go. Now I can do this uh, properly. <laughs> One of those guys stopped and didn't have any money in his pockets. It was $1! These guys are so broke. <laughs> okay. So with those, plus this new addition to the park, we should easily cross to 2,000 guests. We have 1,940. Let's see. Well, how is the ad campaign doing? Uh, six weeks remaining still, so that's good. Let's add some more infrastructure. These also increase the capacity of the park. I'm going to make it free, though, so we stop driving people away. And I'm going to make the balloons free so more people can afford them. Perfect. What else? Let's get another fry stall over here. And another drink stall. Perfect. Oh, a souvenir stall. Nice. Let's grab that and plunk it down right... Not there. Right there. And make these cuddly toys. I think three fifty was the amount that we figured out before, or it might have been four dollars actually. Let's see. Anyone gonna buy a cuddly toy for two fifty? Not two fifty for three fifty. No sales so far. Oh, this is facing the wrong way. Whoops. There we go. Okay, so we, it looks like we did sell a cuddly toy. No thoughts, so that must be... Well, it's a decent enough price. Okay. We need 35 more guests, and we will have doubled our objective. Pluto's platonic plunge has broken down. That's not good. These guys are all busy, so we need to hire another one. And uh, a couple more handyman can't hurt. My goodness. I think we need to block off this pathway here. Let's go classical Roman style. Block that. Quit getting lost, people! Okay. And we have all this unused land over here. How do I... How do I make this all work? What else are we... What are we working on? So we just got the souvenir stall. Unknown, it says. Okay. We have run out of transport rides and run out of water rides, so the only things left are tender rides, roller coasters, thrill rides, and shops and stalls. I don't see anything on this list that I would like to build that I haven't built. Well, I guess maybe I could build one of these, but I don't have room for it anywhere. Look how compact this park is. There's a lot of bare space over here, but that's because it's all sloped. So maybe... Oh, there's a good thumbnail shot. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what to do. We could just plunk, we could just span trees everywhere, I guess, but that doesn't seem like a very, a very exciting activity from your perspective. Let's actually make this more of a, more of a deciduous forest. Oh, but that's a pine tree. What am I doing? These are all pine trees. Um, let's see. Common yew tree. Let's get some oak trees around. And some larch. Wait, but larch is evergreen too, isn't it? Uh, birch. There we go. Get all the Minecraft trees. Oak and birch. Professor Birch, give me a Pokemon. Professor Oak. Fruit trees. So everyone walking along this path will always be at risk of getting stung by angry hornets because fruit trees are drawn, or they're drawn to fruit that falls on the ground. We can make a little Candyland segment here. Oops. I don't even know why I put those there. I just did, because it was cool. Oh, look at that. We did it. We doubled the objective. And we have $200,000 in cash. My oh my, my goodness. Why is no one riding this? 
Oh, some people are writing it. It's just not popular. Come on, people, you're killing me. Oh yeah, there's people on it, never mind. Did they not render from this angle? Oh no, it's hard to see them because of the color of the... <laughs> never mind. If they were yellow, I would have seen them easily. Being red makes it harder to spot them. That's funny. I feel like we should add another roller coaster, but I don't, I don't know how I'm going to fit it in here. Let's just try. We'll make it a small roller coaster. Itty bitty teeny tiny, whoops. Itty bitty teeny tiny. Let's see, one train. Uh-oh. That's not gonna work. Okay. That's not gonna work either. Let's go right down to the water level and come back up gently. Or not so gently. Let's turn like this. Ah, this isn't gonna work. It's too, too tight. Oh, there we go. Just squeeze out from under everything. What's in my way? Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, but I can do that. Yeah, I'm completely stuck. Okay. In that case. I think I might actually, I should probably send this underground. So let's uh, drop this down into the depths where we can have a bigger drop and bring it back to the station. Okay. Have to raise or lower land first, it says. Okay. I can't see what I'm doing. Turn vegetation off. I am not aligned. That's that's a problem. Let's uh do this properly. Now it's aligned. Okay. And we need to go uh, higher, quicker. Here we go. And we might get a second train onto this after all. Okay. So that kind of worked. Um, I am not digging these colors at all. So let's uh, test this. Oh, whoops. Oh, right, right, right. I need an entrance and an exit. Um... Can I connect this to that path right there? No, not like that. This way. No! There it, there it goes. Oh, I was way off. <laughs> oh, whoops. That was supposed to... Oh, gosh dang it. Let me close this. Because it's in the way. In the way. There we go. Maybe I should connect to this path instead. Same with this one. Okay, yeah, that'll work. So we still have one train. Maybe if I sh uh, shrink this to eight cars. Now we get two trains. 
Perfect. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I see what I did. There we go. Two trains with nine cars. Perfect. And these colors are ridiculous. I can't even see it. Let's make this roller coaster track pink. Or maybe bright pink. And give it yellow supports. Let's find train one and follow it. Woohoo! As it progresses th uh, slowly through its track. I watch these lateral G's because the last spot might be a little intense. Yep, a little intense. That was a bit rough. But I think we'll be okay. Whoops, I paused it. Yeah, we survived. Look at that. Okay, then. Well, let's open it. Turn this down to a dollar. Our marketing campaigns have finished. We are two-thirds of the way through September, so we have maybe one and a half weeks left, plus four weeks of October. So let's just advertise for five weeks. Oh, six weeks is fine. Six weeks for the park. Six weeks for the classic mini, because I just opened it. Free food. Let's go free ice cream. Half price entry to the park. Free rides on Pluto's Platonic Plunge, because that's alliteration and I like alliteration. And there we go. Perfect. So we have 2,100 guests. We have filled in every little space. Well, actually, we could have more bushes over here, I suppose. Just spam bushes everywhere. Let's edit the landscape, too. Let's change this to this and have it progress as it gets closer to the water. And once it reaches the water, we'll change it to dirt or sand or something. We have so much money. This is hardly even putting a dent in our cash. <laughs> We're so rich. And that's the edge of a park. That's as far as I can go. Okay. Let's do it over here as well. Perfect. Now let's switch to dirt. Well, I guess, why am I switching to dirt, though? I guess it doesn't really matter. Some spots, some spots can be dirt. Let's just make this bigger and cover larger swaths of land. But it looks more interesting, and that's what I want to see. Whoops, did not mean to click that. Okay, so that's a big improvement. Let's add some plants around the water, like uh, lily, uh, cattails and such. I wish we had lily pads, that'd be cool. Let's make it look a little overgrown here. September 30th, we are about to begin the last month of the year. down. Grab another one. This one has berries on it. Yeah, this already looks so much better. It's all fleshed out. Let's do it up here as well and plant some trees. More trees never hurt nobody. Swinging inverter ship. I said, uh, let's, let's build that somewhere if I can find a spot. There's, like, no room anywhere. Oh, here's a perfect spot. Didn't even see it. Okay. Perfect. Let's make this free. Nice. Filled in that little corner. And this area is begging to have some trees planted. 
Let's get some corner trees so we get that sense of depth. And we could do with a fountain in the middle of this pond here. Nice. Maybe some fountains like this one. One there. And one where this drink stall is. So let me close the drink stall. And move it right there. So I can place the fountain there. Perfect. Okay. Ivory towers. That actually makes sense. Well, maybe not the material, but the color for having a Roman-themed park. And these are not Roman-themed. Let's switch this to Classical Roman. Classical Roman on this one, too. And this one. I wish there was a way to toggle this for all entrances at once. And I forgot to, I forgot to paint this corkscrew roller coaster. Um, we can make it green. Yeah, we actually don't have any green roller coasters. Huh. I think I've said that I typically avoid green just because it blends with the grass. I, I like it as a color, but I don't want it to blend with everything. But seeing as I changed the landscape, this actually works. Red and green, that blends with everything. Red and pink. Green and pink, what am I saying? Um, yeah, I think I like the pink. Okay, green and pink. And the car can stay white, that's fine. Classical Roman themed entrance. What else have I missed? This one I missed. That is not classical. There we go. There's so many of them, why am I even bothering? <laughs> this one can be a log cabin, I suppose, just because it's a haunted house. And this... Let's actually change the hedges to brick walls. So now these hedges don't actually make sense anymore. And make this uh, classical, just like the others. I'm going to leave these as log cabins, actually. That's fine. But this is not fine. Let's change this to classical. As well as this one, Jupiter's Wrath. Jupiter, go anger. Jupiter, throw lightning. Okay, I think that's just about everything. We have a handful of places that have log cabins, but that's okay. Wait! I missed all these ones. Well, shoot. Let's change this Ferris wheel to Roman theming, and this one as well. Not you. The Ferris wheel. And then these slides as well. Let's put fences around these paths so people don't fall into the uh, into the the pond. It's like this. There we go. Massive improvement. Okay. Oh, we have Egyptian theming. I'm not sure what I'd do with that, but we have just a few days left of this scenario. Let's hire a few more handyman to clean up what's left of these paths. It's a bit of a mess. And it's going to rain again. If it's still raining when... Uh, oh, there's no one writing this. If it's still raining when the scenario ends, it's going to be annoying, because it's done that for the last few scenarios, I think. Chairlift. No riders. It's never had any riders. <laughs> it's because it costed a dollar. It was too expensive, apparently. Whoops, I completely forgot. I 
think we could place a few more trees. Black poplar. If I'm pronouncing that right. Let's place some fountains around this log flume. Okay. Maybe one in the middle of this lake. October 31st, this is the end. And because it's a thunderstorm, we go out with a bang. Woohoo! There we go. To have 1,000 guests in the park by the end of year three, we have 2,258 guests. And look how much money we have. Holy smoke. Well, that's a wrap. If you guys have enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm closing the gap very quickly to my goal of, uh, of 1,000 subscribers. I'm very grateful to you guys for that. So if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so to help me reach that goal. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day, and goodbye. <laughs>